we got our guy. Wow, all right, that was not the name that I was expecting. The search is finally, finally over as USC is finalizing a deal to hire UCLA defensive coordinator DeAnton Lynn, who will become USC's new DC. This is a big time hire that has me absolutely fired up. And in this video, we'll meet DeAnton. I'll tell you about his scheme, his recruiting chops, as well as what this move means as we head into the Big Ten. The search is finally over. No more fake sources, guys, on Twitter. I'm fired up. Let's go. What's up guys, my name is Gabe and welcome into the Trojan Blade. I think I speak for all of us when I say this was the longest and most draining search I've ever dealt with as a fan of USC. At first it was all Jim Leonard, then it was Tony White from Nebraska. I'm happy it's settled and that we got our man. First things first, before I get into the specifics, I just wanna say UCLA might've beaten us on the field, but who really won that game? Let's take a quick look at what's transpired since that game concluded. UCLA is keeping Chip Kelly, they're stealing our move, flying banners over the campus, trying to get them fired. Their five-star quarterback has hit the portal, and we just stole their star coordinator. All of that to go along with major institutional issues and a coach that just doesn't give a shit about the football program. Safe to say that UCLA is up in flames and it's a beautiful, beautiful sight. All right, but getting into this here, this is a huge swing, an absolute swing for the fences. Coach Lynn is not a guy with some huge track record with multiple stops at big schools. He has been a DC for one year and one year alone. So again, you're taking a big risk here. This isn't a proven guy. He only started coaching in 2014 as an intern with the Jets. In 2022, he was the safeties coach for the Baltimore Ravens. He then became the UCLA DC in 2023, and he honestly did as good a job as anyone in the entire country. The Bruin defense in 2022, while talented, was an absolute train wreck, ranking in the bottom half of the country in most categories. Coach Lynn comes in and he immediately turns this Bruin defense into the best in the Pac-12, and honestly, one of the best in the entire country. Let's take a look at the numbers here. They went from 89th in total defense in 2022 to 11th in the country in 2023. This year, they were also 34th in third down defense, 38th red zone defense. And guys, get this, this was the number one rush defense in the country, only giving up 70 yards a game. That is absolutely crazy. Guys, USC finished the year 114th, giving up 184 a game. This is an entirely different universe we're living in here. 114th compared to first absolutely crazy. Now the Bruin defense was the 71st pass defense in the country, but two points I will throw out at you. The first one, I don't think they're that talented in the cornerback room. I honestly don't. And secondly, playing in the Pac-12 this year, giving up pass yards is just going to happen. There's a few exceptions, obviously, but you're really not going to get away from that when you go up and down the conference. There honestly isn't much to go on here from a track record standpoint. Coach Lynn obviously did enough in the game against SC this year to really impress Lincoln. If you think back to that game, I thought he really took Lincoln to school. They really got after us on that side of the ball. Now, as a person, Coach Lynn is a very interesting guy. He is the son of former Chargers head coach, Anthony Lynn. And like I mentioned earlier, he went right into coaching when his NFL days were over. And he did play his college ball at Penn State. So this is a guy that knows the Big Ten, knows the weather, knows the type of offenses that we'll see. And I think really checks so many boxes here for SC. Now let's talk scheme and X's and O's. This is a multiple defense, but it is a base 4-2-5. Pretty much the same exact scheme as Michigan. A scheme that has proven to work in the Big Ten. And let's be honest, not just work, but absolutely dominate when ran correctly. I have two examples here to show you. So the first one here is just a base look. You have the two big interior guys in the middle with two hyper-athletic pass rushers standing up. You see the two backers there that are required to tackle. Yes, guys, this is a defense that tackles well. I know you're all very excited to hear that. Like I mentioned earlier, Coach Lynn comes from the Baltimore Ravens, and specifically, he was the safeties coach. And guys, as a Browns fan, I can tell you that over the years, the Ravens safeties have tackled extremely well. They're well coached and they're super physical. So I do think that will translate when he heads over to SC. Here's another example for you of a fourth and short situation. Just trying to illustrate some of the various fronts he'll put on tape here. Now this is a very aggressive defense, but where Alex Grinch's defense was blindly aggressive, this one is tactically aggressive. You won't see them doing outrageous stuff in situations where it's not called for. This is a scheme that works. It's been proven time and time again. 
And honestly, as we head to the Big Ten, I think it's the perfect scheme to run based on the local talent in Southern California from a high school perspective, as well as just being able to plug and play players from the portal. It's a scheme that players are going to want to play in. It's not a weird gimmicky Alex Grinch scheme with really small defensive linemen. Coach Lynn doesn't seem to buy into that. I don't think we're going to be seeing similar body types along the Trojan defensive line in the years to come. And the more you think about it, this just really checks every single box. Lincoln really puts an emphasis on recruiting Texas. Coach Lynn grew up and played high school ball in Texas. We're heading to the Big Ten. Coach Lynn played ball at Penn State in the Big Ten. Yeah, but we need a guy who knows Southern California. In 2017, Coach Lynn was an assistant with the Chargers. And of course, he just spent this last year at UCLA. And when you talk about having someone you want to be able to relate to the kids, Coach Lynn not only is a guy that played in the NFL, but he's 34 years old. This is a very young guy. I'm actually very excited about that specific note from a recruiting perspective. I mean, if you just think about it, a younger guy age 34 that played in the NFL is probably going to be pretty easy to relate to, especially because this guy's been all over the map as both a player and coach, just from a location standpoint. So he's going to get the general vibe of all these recruits he's talking to. He'll know how to talk to the West Coast kids. He'll know how to talk to the East Coast kids. And obviously growing up in Texas, he's going to know that very well. Just in general, I'm very, very excited by this hire. This is a name that kind of popped up here and there, but man, Lincoln and the inner circle there at SC did such a good job of keeping this close to the vest. But guys, I'm very excited about this. Get ready to see a Lincoln Riley offense paired with a very good defense. Get ready for good tackling. And honestly, just get ready to see this Trojan ship steered back on course. This is a very risky hire. Lincoln's tenure at USC will be judged by this hire. We need to see big strides taken this year. Overall, I do give this hire an A-. I'm thrilled with it. The light at the end of the tunnel is here. We suffered through Alex Grinch. Deanton Lynn is our guy. And the little cherry on top is that we poured even more gasoline on the Bruin fire. So screw it. Let's go win a national championship.